I often get asked about PCI slots and the types. So in this video, I will specifically talk about the types of PCI slots and what each is used for. On this motherboard, this array of slots you see are the PCI slots, but you can also see that they vary in size. PCI slots are basically intended to install cards to your PC that add further functionality such as a Wi-Fi card, a video capture card, a graphics card, etc. Let me get into the details now. PCI slots basically come in four configurations, X1, X4, X8, and X16. The number after the X usually denotes the number of PCI lanes the slot offers. Think of PCI lanes as information highways that carry information to and from the expansion card to the CPU for processing data. The higher the number of PCI lanes the slot offers, the higher is its bandwidth and the more powerful an expansion card you can install on it. So an X1 slot offers only a single lane and is intended to be used with low demanding cards such as a Wi-Fi card, an Ethernet card, a sound card, etc. An X16 slot offers 16 lanes and it is the most powerful of the slots. It is intended to be used by the most demanding expansion cards like a graphics card. Now let me explain how you can identify the type of PCI slot you have on your motherboard. So here as you know is an array of all the PCI slots on this motherboard. The white slots are the X1 slots and they are fairly easy to identify they are the smallest PCI slots on a motherboard. The most powerful X16 slots are also fairly easy to identify they are the largest slot given on a motherboard. The X4 slots are a bit trickier to identify. X4 slots offer 4 lanes. However, in terms of physical size on the vast majority of the motherboards they feature a full X16 slot size. Meaning they have a physical size of the largest PCI slot but only physically connect to 4 lanes. You figure this out by looking at the motherboard spec sheet. On this motherboard, the first PCI X16 slot or the one closest to the CPU has full 16 lanes. The second X16 slot however only offers 4 lanes. On some of the older motherboards, you may actually find dedicated X4 sized PCI slots but those are fairly rare. X8 slots follow a similar story. They have the physical size of an X16 slot but only connect to 8 lanes physically. This particular motherboard has no 8 lane slot. However, many motherboards, particularly the high end gaming motherboards, do tend to offer 8 lane slots. So, what are PCI slots used for? Let me briefly touch on what the different type of PCI slots are intended for. As far as the X1 slot is concerned, as mentioned earlier, they are used by the weakest cards or cards that generate very low amount of data. These include Wi-Fi card, sound card, Ethernet card, Full HD video capture card, TV tuner card, and certain USB expansion cards. The X4 slots are intended to be used by cards that require a notch higher bandwidth. These include 4K video capture card and NVMe SSD expansion cards. The X16 slots, the true X16 slots that feature the full 16 lanes, are intended to be used by graphics cards primarily. Graphics cards generate a lot of data and they require full 16 lanes to work optimally. The special X8 slots are also intended to be used by graphics card and are suitable for PCs that feature dual or multi-GPU graphics card setup. I should mention here that the PCI interface is also cross-compatible, meaning if you have an X1 card, you can use it on an X4 slot or an X16 slot. It will work just fine, but you will not get any added performance boost due to the higher lane count of the more powerful slots. Therefore, ideally, it is best that you use smaller cards with smaller slots and more demanding cards with larger slots. But if you do not have an option, for instance, if you have an X1 Wi-Fi card but your graphics card is blocking all your X1 slots, then you can use a free X4, X8 or even the X16 slot on your motherboard. It should also be mentioned that the version of the PCI interface also matters a ton. Basically, a single PCI lane doubles its transfer speed with each newer version. Have a look at this table. You can see here that the X1 slot conforming to version 3.0 has a bandwidth of about 1 gigabyte per second. The same slot if conforming to version 4.0 would have a bandwidth of double the amount or 2 gigabyte per second. And it scales with the number of PCI lane a slot offers. So for instance, an X16 version 3.0 slot has bandwidth of about 16 gigabyte per second. The same if conforming to version 4.0 would have a bandwidth of about 32 gigabyte per second. This matters particularly for newer devices. Take the example of an NVMe M.2 expansion card. If you were to plug a Gen 4 NVMe SSD in a PCI 3.0 slot, it will only work at half its speed. So you will have potentially wasted half its performance. A Gen 4 SSD requires a PCI 4.0 expansion card that is plugged into a PCI 4.0 slot. Again, you can figure out the version of the PCI slots from the motherboard spec sheet, or sometimes it is also inscribed on its surface. I have a fairly old motherboard here, and you can see the version this belongs to is PCI 2.0 as inscribed here. So this covers the type of PCI slots out there. If you have any more questions or concerns please ask away in the comment section below.